I don't know if it's, you know, people have all sorts of reasons why they don't have an easy go with another human being. Right. I think we're all so different. How would you not? But then there's this whole, like, public, you know, consciousness thing that everyone's the same. But it's not true at all that love is one thing and it should be that thing for everyone. No. It, you know, we're not all the same and we shouldn't be. God forbid. Well, I think, you know, it's, again, it's all really complicated because, especially if you've had a lot of negative, exp negative experiences... In relationships, you can become very rigid, and then it's like, how do you, mm. how do you, how do you change that? If the wheel stops spinning, how do you, how do you turn it again? It can be really hard. I guess that's always the question, isn't it? Sometimes in life, you'll you'll feel love and then feel like that's taken away or that it isn't true or not love someone anymore or something. And, you know, and there are a lot of reasons, but. I guess it's, again, I just think that the love comes from a universal kind of energy. I just think that people vibrate different ways. I think there's a lot, there are a lot of layers to that. I think people don't like the feeling of failure. People don't want it to be their fault. So everybody starts playing the blame game. Whose fault is it? The interesting thing, Casey, though, about the blame game is that no one really still wins anything because everyone is losing something. No, that's why I always try so to say, okay, you know what, what I mean? did I, what, what could I have done differently? Right. Where, like, where did I allow this X, Y, or Z to happen? What, what did I do, you know, to play my part in that happening? There's a level of personal responsibility we take when we enter into something. Right, but I think a lot of people feel like when they enter into something, they're giving all this power to someone else. They put themselves in a position of risk. So that's why when something's over, Sometimes people can feel like this person had all this power to end it because you gave them all your power from the beginning. Have you dated at all? Me? Since your last breakup? Yeah, but not much. Right. And did you find it strange? Yes. <laughs> How so? I, I didn't like it. I, I, the older I get, the more I'm, I'm just not, I'm not that interested in that. I don't, I don't feel this intense desire to partner, so I don't. I'll get like yeah. I'll be like yeah. I'm, I'm out. I don't. When I was younger, I felt this like oh, I met someone and I and I worked with them, so I should anything. I'll whatever it takes to make this work. Right. Well, but, that's never. That's never. No. But I think we do live in a culture. I'll say this though. On that note, a lot of people give that advice to each other. We'll stick through it. Make it work. Stay to the end. Like it's a very kind of dated, antiquated damaging, psychologically abusive way to have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because you're you're chipping away at your own soul just for this thing you think might be this thing you're supposed to want. I, I think it can be very difficult to look at yourself and say like, this is how I failed. This is what I, this is what I did. This is what I shouldn't have done, or shouldn't have allowed, or shouldn't have pursued, or, or shouldn't have worked on harder. Or do you think, and then the flip side, there's the other school, do you think that maybe all these things that happen to us are supposed to? Maybe. Doesn't make it any easier. I think it has given me a different perspective when I look at it. Like, well, if it's meant to happen that way, if this is the energy I've collected and this is just what's happened, this is what I needed to shift. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, then I did. I mean, that's... Pain sucks, no one likes pain, but there is so much joy in the world too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you see that teaching children. Yeah, but again, maybe that's why, you know, I've, I've focused so much energy on that thing, because to me there is a love involved in that. So mm -hmm. it fulfills parts of myself that I don't need to look outside for. I've always had like a drive in my life, and so I've always responded to people who have that kind of drive. And even, and I can be the first one to be mad and complaining about all this stuff that's wrong, but I, I, there's always like, what what can I do to fix it? Like, what can I do to, to make it better? What can I try now? Right. So I, I've always really resonated with people who have that same instinct. Doesn't mean you don't have bad days. Doesn't mean, you know, sometimes you just need to be mad about something. But to me, that's very attractive in other people. And kindness, and honesty. What's your favorite part of a relationship? Not that part. <laughs> Not at the beginning, unless it's good. You know, sometimes, okay, I like, I guess, like anyone, I like good dates, uh -huh. but bad ones to me are so horrifically anxiety producing. I am like an independent 
film or like a sitcom. It, like it literally so awkward. If it's not working, it's just a disaster. Mm -hmm. It's a disaster, and I hate it. And I, so that turns me off dating a lot. Um, but when you have a really good first date or second or third, right. that could be really great. I, but I think my favorite part has always been talking. Mm. To me, from just looking at it from the outside, the dating apps feel like the end of the night at the bar always felt, but all the time. <laughs> like, the bar's closing, so everybody better figure it out right now. Yeah. It's kind of how it feels. With that desperation of the end of the night. Which we used to call blue light special. Oh my gosh. I have learned pretty, pretty well at this point just not to care. Not, well, not that I don't care. I have to tell myself, it's okay for people not to like you. Or it's okay for someone to be mad at you. That's right. a big one too. It's okay for someone to be mad at you. I don't have to go fix it. I don't have to give a million excuses. I don't have to be mad at It's okay. Right. But it, yeah, people are gonna like you. It's not a comfortable feeling. So what would you say that you know to be absolutely true? Absolutely true. That Going for things is always going to have a better outcome than not going for things. There's a really... Even if that's failure. Uh, yeah, I kind of think the end goal for me is peace. Is it? Yeah. As a kid, and, and up till now, like all I've ever just kind of wanted was to be peaceful. 